brand new traders van it is available for seven days this is a double set traders van very unexpected we have a primary which is the black obelisk primary mythical automatic with weakening ability disables jumps fire rate 99 a capacity of 30 bullets and a mobility of 65 a backup by the name of fair judge backup mythical single shots target marking random effects fire rate 84 a capacity of seven bullets mobility 75 and also a special the plague bringer this is special mythical flamethrower slows the target killed targets explode fire rate 90 a capacity of 50 mobility 65 each one of these weapons is available for 350 gems each but like i said it's a double traders van so the other set is starting with the primary which is the punishing light primary mythical rockets manual guidance burning fire rate 95 capacity 20 mobility 65 the sniper is the piercing gaze of raw sniper mythical wall break blindness burning fire rate 67 capacity 5 mobility 55 and last but not least another special eternals sun wrath special mythical charge shot wall break burning Fire rate 78, capacity 5, mobility 65. And yes, every single one of those weapons is also available for 350 gems each. So I'm slightly disappointed here. And the reason why is because the first set we are checking out today, which is going to be the Sinister God set, they are missing one weapon. And that weapon is the Scarab Shrine. They didn't bring it back. Honestly, I've not seen this weapon inside of a trader's van or in this game for a very long time can we get hashtag justice for the scarab shrine in the comments please stick around in today's video i've hidden a promo code throughout today's video go find all the letters and the numbers and redeem it for some free gems and coins hashtag justice for the scarab shrine the developers didn't bring this back even though they could have anyway welcome to today's traders van review we're doing things a little bit different today because we have two separate sets inside of the trader's van, which is what not what we usually get. We don't usually get two of them, do we? We usually only have one. So we're starting off with this one, which is the God Sinister. We do have modules active because if we don't, then the gameplay and the reviews are going to be way too long. And nobody's got time for that, bro. Nobody's got time for those long reviews. So if you're interested more in the raw sets, feel free to skip ahead a little bit in today's video. Bro just stole two of my kills. That's not cool. This one has the Black Obelisk, of course. Which I like this. I think the Black Obelisk is very, very underrated, to be fair. It's a very, very good weapon to have, as you can see. Now, the backup. Backup for me was a two-shot kill. Backup, two-shot kill, target marking. Bro, you better come this way. You didn't even come this way. Try this. Try this. There you go. That was a one-shot kill on that guy. Come on. Come on. I got to get one kill. Flamethrower. Try and get another one. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's a spicy day of Pixel Gun 3D. And all the tryhard try in. Yes. Let's go, nuke out. Justice for the shrine. All right. Focus a little bit more anyway. Wait, is the guy just chilling there? There's no... Dude up here. This guy, get rid of him. Uh, yeah, I got no chance in this gameplay today. Make it a double, please, Echo. Make it a double, please, please. There we go. I'm sorry, bro. I had to do that to you. And you. Two dudes up top. Oh, that guy's not a two-shot kill. I did get the kill, though, from the burning at least. He's dead. I'm deaf. He's dead. Come on. Get him with this, Echo. There we go. He's dead, too. Justice. Justice for the shrine. Bro, I played you the other day. You were annoying me the other day, too. I, like, there's no way we're going to win this game. Get him down. I'm going to nuke it. Now I'm trying to defend my second place. I nuked myself, bro. Come on. Come on. Those come with a scope. I like a good scope weapon, bro. Probably best off not using the scope, though. <laughs> that was really awkward that we failed very, very badly there, wasn't it, bro? Yeah, Black Obelisk is definitely a very good weapon to own. I like it a lot. Couldn't quite sneak the dobby. But we didn't do too bad in this one. 
I think the Black Obelisk is definitely a weapon worth investing in. With the weakening ability, it makes it a very, very good primary to own. I liked this as well. The Fair Judge, typically a two or three shot kill. So it does have the random effect. So you typically do kill on a two shot. Target marking is a bonus. I think the fire rate on this though is definitely not 84. It does seem to be a lot less than that. And I like the Flamethrower meta. It's just a standard flamethrower weapon that does come with exploding targets. So moving on to the raw set. Let's see how we do. Now the special, I weirdly really like this special. It's not your ordinary kind of charge shot weapon that you're probably used to playing against because it doesn't stream beam or anything like that. It just like beams the targets. It's really weird, but also in a very, very good way. Now this is a very strange concept, a manual guidance primary. It works very good on a map like Silent School. But in any other circumstance, I don't think this weapon is, is worth it, personally. Most range, it works. Corridor, it works. Everywhere else, I don't think it works. Bro, this, what is this lobby, bro? This lobby is cracked out of its mind. I can't see. I just got hit with, like, four different effects there. Bro, stop spawning me here, Pixel Gun. Bro, give me a chance. Hey, listen, man. The, the meta of that weapon's gone. Times have changed. Like, I decided to just kill self. I think he killed himself, dude. I like the sniper, always have. If you get hit by this, you cannot see a thing at all. Please, please don't do it to me. No, oh, what are the chances he's just chilling there? Boom. I know when you get hit with this, bro, you cannot see a thing at all. One more. Ultimatum, not enough. Manual guidance, primaries. Come on, do what you gotta do, Echo. Not enough for a kill, though. Let's try to full charge. Now, that could be an interesting concept. I would love to, but I can't even get a chance to, to regain. Bro, like, what's up, man? I, I'm trying to just... I want to say hi to you all, but I'm having a stressful day right now. This lobby is insane. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing uh, zombies and everyone's just trying to attack me. Here we go. Now, like I said, the concept of this is very, very weird. It's very unique, actually. Got him. One more. Don't do that to me, bro. You want to fight? Let's... Oh. I got my revenge kill, though. I'll take the revenge kill. This is a wall-breaking weapon. It's, it's, it's okay, though. Corridor-style, Matt. I'd probably say the sniper's the best in this, and the primary is the best in the other one. But that's what I'm going with so far. Dropping bombs. Although, this is not too bad, man. It's just a charge. A lot of people don't like charge weapons. I, I like them, but... A lot of people don't. Oh, bro, this thing is popping, though. It's popping off. It's okay when you play in controller because you can deal with it, but, like, the whole jump in a movement when you're not on controller can be quite difficult, I think. I like this sniper. I always have, bro. I love the animation with it when you shoot a bullet. Buddy there. There's a dude there. Hit him once. Come on, I got a manual guidance, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you move. I've got manual guidance. I know exactly where you're going. And I can shoot like that. One more. They might get me a kill if I'm lucky. I don't know. Sorry, bro. I'm out. Come on. Yes, the weapon's too strong for him to escape that thing. Down the corridor, dropping some bombs. I can't see a single thing here. I'm going to put that up there, though. Oh, nice kill. Yeah, sniper is definitely worth it. Even if you don't get the kill, they cannot see you. The players just can't see you. And I like the fact that it has a counter of how many bullets you've got left in the chamber. All right, man. I, some, somebody just saved my life big time there. It really did. I don't know how we managed to pull up a dub in this game, though. Yes, one more. Oh, he got the kill on me. One more, one more with the primary at least. No, oh, I couldn't do it, bro. He would have died as well. How, how do we get a 40 kills? Impressive. So for my final opinions of this set, like I said, highly recommend getting the sniper rifle and I highly recommend getting the black obelisk. The weakening ability gives you a huge advantage. I think for the likes of the backup and the specials, I think that's just going to be down to personal judgment on if you want to complete a set, if you already have the other weapons. But yeah, Sniper, definitely, and Black Obelisk, definitely.